48 seconds. Luckily, he has time to work with here, but to find these three kills in such a, a difficult angle to push, this has to be Dinatos' win. This has to be. If not, they've made a major mistake in this round to give Complexity a chance to throw it into a third overtime. But here we go, looking to push the smoke. Halzerk's waiting, and Halzerk will be killed off first. Blameth's got to find a second, and he's able to no. against Forrest. Don't tell me! No. Blameth is going to clutch this out again! He's done it before with the ace to save them. He's done it yet again to potentially pull off a third overtime. Are they going to go for the save here? No, they're going to keep pushing ahead. Time and not their friend. And the problem is, they also have Ariel is pushed up to his pop dog, and then Maul, that's it. Round's done. Round's done. Perfectly time Maul it off. 13 seconds. Oh, it's gotta be okay. huge. It's gotta be absolute oh, nuclear no way. explosion no way. of kills coming in from Astralis, no and just way. like that, Ariel peeks into the open, and well, Blair, you scudded it. Caster's curse right there. Last few seconds left, all the ENDS players just line up in the- It's a very scary prospect for ENDS, and the Strass are a very scary team to play against in that respect. You're never safe, you're never in a comfortable position. Yeah, I think every team uh, who's ever played against the Strass can attest to that fact. And now, after losing X7 early on, you see the wall of smokes. The default is a little bit of a gap though, and the nade sails it. Oh, that's gotta hurt. Flash is gonna be tossed up with him across and over, but Blade somehow with the smoke, he lines them up, goes for the full spray, and does a little bit extra damage on the aerial. 3v5, and again, Estralis haven't pre traded by Nap with the double bomb drop. Kaiser out with a clutch. This would have to be heroic, oh and he started it word. off. Three kills to his name. He's got a one on one versus Nitro. Surely not. Surely not, Kaiser this would be unreal. It was a 1v3 at the start, now 1v1. Kesarato tries to bait the peak. Nitro wow. gives it up. And Kesarato with a stellar clutch. To Seven, it's all an Alu. He's going to fall to Magist. The B bomb side completely bereft of any CD side presence. And Estrada's going to come pushing in. And this could be it, Dinko. This could be the game. And Zupri, he just walks in through the smoke and gets both the kills, headshots nonetheless. And that is going to be Estrada's taking the series. They found the Famas, but have they found Jesper? Ooh, another D-kill, but nobody has cleared JW, and this might be their undoing. He's waiting. He's so patient. Oh, this is gross, JW. There he go. He looks for Nork, and nice. there's the lineup. Baby. JW sends them out of the site with a stellar bit of trigger discipline to put a 12th round on the board for Fnatic. Everything about that round. Here it is. Three. To please, 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 please. Here we go. Please, come on. Come on. No. Oh, in between them. Do you see it? In between them. In between the LDLT and the Titan Hollow. No. That was it. Lack of a better word. Stuff at the wall because you know you can't use the other word, and and hope that it sticks. Right now, nothing's sticking though. Oh, okay. Uh, that works. Just uh, push up, blind the player, run up, and wrap around. Minute and 35 seconds on the clock. They're already on a bomb site. This is some very fast and furious. Oh, I love stuff. it. <laughs> He's just given up already. He's like, you're not getting this. You're not oh, getting this. Oh, Shiro, you absolute madman. That is so wonder. funny. That is, <laughs> that is brilliant. That's genius. He just read for a nasty surprise. There are a lot of players at the top of ramp ready to pounce on him if uh -oh. needed. Sonic has gone through these defensive smokes and Mottam goes running on in unchecked. Automatic now has a lot to do and suddenly it's actually all on the shoulders of Buntet in a 1v3. But he's laying oh. up the scoreboard and Buntet locks it down. Five on the board for Gen G. On the back of this man, he even holds on to the AWP after time. An all-round team player here as Buntet puts that fifth on the board and ties it up now. That's so excellent. I love watching Buntet clutch as well. He doesn't ever play the bomb or, or like fall back safely. He's just going to fight you. And one by one by one, he just re-peaks back in under that smoke. And we see how that smoke thrown by Cloud9. A rotation from Mr. Fuzz and will he find the kill? Yes, he will. Great flick from him, but it's going to be only him defending. He eventually drops down from the window, change up his position, but he's under a lot of pressure right now. Second kill, find as well. Will he find any more? Yes, he finds a third. What a nice flick. He's still not taken down, and now he has backup and a fourth. Will he find the ace? Mr. Fuzz, are you insane? He gets the ace! Oh my god, Mr. Fuzz, are you out of your mind? 
themselves a pretty decent position, and it looks like the Mika gonna just go ahead and commit out through short. That smoke though having a bit of a gap, it gives the vision the collateral actually being connected. It's not enough for the kill on Speed Act, but it leaves them on the brink of death at this point. Oh my what? god, what? He hits the was that a no scope or a quick scope? I don't even care at this point. It's a one-on-one. -on -one. And vicious he jumped he knows where he is oh my god okay that's one way to end it what is this game device running close towards him op the op in a second here around the corner oh my god sonny is just staying alive he lets the run past there's the one kill and well a second as well from sonny coming through dupree and device both hitting the deck and well, 14 to 14. No Best satisfaction gets a kill. Shui dead. A lead trading. Still has a look down. And they still haven't cleared out the other man who's pushed through the smoke. This is a mess for Liquid. And somehow they're still in a three on one. Jacob is going to mow them down. They do trade him out. And that's left Liaz alone. This is a mess. But Liquid somehow in a two on one. Liaz 1v2. And offered up to Twist. Team Liquid. They take it. 16. Catched him off guard after Chris J took contact, but with Chris J finding nothing, and with Rop's only been able to get the one, they are in a lot of trouble. They have to try and get this two on four retake, which Woxic has at least given them an opening back into now. A chance for it to work out, but Woxic's low, as we said before. Crystal's right below. Hasn't been spotted. The nade on to Michael Ailey, but as he swings wide, he's taken out Carrigan. Got to win the 1v2 on sight. Michael Ailey is down, and now the defuse is going to be tapped. Zen swings out and spots him, and that's a clean headshot to close it out. That Carrigan took a bit of a gamble, was hoping he'd come down the ramp, but in the end, he didn't, and Mouse Sports have lost out to... I always clutch up second yeah, round, though. Yeah, I got the clutch scene. That's all that matters. I got the clutch scene. I was still in this game positive, and you have my word on that. You have my word on that. And with this peak coming into short, are they going to expect Hauzuk to be this far forward? The only worry is tunnels. And Flame F is down here. Get right's defending his teammate. Flashbang comes up and they both die. That's the issue. Get right had to hit his first shot, otherwise his teammate goes down as well. Blame F, he may not have won the clutch in the last round, but he started this one off as well as you can. The A site is going to be their safe haven as the only rotator, even close, is going to be Forrest. He's just trying to slow them down. Freiburg has made the rotation in. Okay, he gets that first kill, but both players tag. So low Blame F, he's looking for another ace. Four kills already. And exist. Cowering in CT. I wonder if they're going to let Blame F go for it. It seems like they are. Obo just flashing his IGL in. They are playing with confidence, and it's another ace for Blame F. He had one in the first map, and now another here. I mean, Tom, you're moving forward. Indeed, it is. And Zepex is there. He gets taken down. 2v2. 15 seconds. They need to get the bomb down, but they know Device is staying alive and somehow gets another kill. 3k for Device. 12 HP, but he's done his job. And it's going to be Glaive to seal the deal. Ready for Twist on the right side. Opens up the chance for a plant here. But Fury going to give it a go in the 2 on 2. No kit. No kit. One flash. Henny and Vinny. And they're ready to full Cindy. Here we go. Twist at the generator. And that's going to be a lethal angle that he's holding right there. Vinny's having to clear this. He can't do it safely. Now a 1v1. It's got danger oh. close, and he wins it out. Wild stuff right there. These rounds are getting down to the wire. A uno de vida, uno. Izquierda, izquierda, uno. This prayer was asking for a stat track knife, though. Here we go. We'll take, we'll take it. <laughs> Here we go, dude. This is it. This is it, guys. First one. Here we go. Please. Oh. No. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. You're, wait, you were next to the reason. I know, I know, I know. Oh, my God. 
This is to come through. Furia lying in wait on the other side. And Vinny does secure oh, an no. opener. Oh dear, Art's come in with another. Stewie at least gets this round back in the hands of Team Liquid somewhat with those two kills on the short wrap that allows the bomb plant to come through at a bare minimum. But Furia sitting a man up in this retake, a real chance to upset the grain here in this second round with their force fight. Oh, Ali just being trapped as well. He's getting spammed up from short. He's going to try and take a fight to CT, but looks away as the P comes in. Stewie now needing the ace in this round. He's on a third. Spray continuing it out of ammo straight to the pistol, looking for the taps. But Henny fires back with a scout, and Fury will win that round. Liquid, I like what they, the, the idea was there, right? They wanted to pop monster. Naf was throwing a, a, a flash. Now, so they clear the close corner. He holds the right side. It's... It's actually a recipe for a potential kill, maybe even a plan. Let's see. That's a perfect incendiary. Damage done. This is the go. Oh, with nobody's looking at Simple. With no HP remaining, 11 HP to be precise, he gets another three kills. Just like that. Four in total. Easiest frags of his life right there. I don't think, uh, <laughs> I don't think you get gifted. Many easier than that. Yes, bear in mind, Mo hits our scout shots. They're all focusing on trying to convert that kill. They haven't accounted for this position, which is understandable. Uh, it's just uh, an eco round where you've got nothing more than a scout and some glocks. AKs are out, and as Chad said, oh, Mo will oops. have to scout once again. So outside of the B bomb site early on in this round, and they're going to try and assemble this boost once again. Oh my god! Are we ever going to get to see it, Daps? Wow. Oh, I don't love knowing that he's yeah. only standing. Oh, on the head of Cooster, he's, he's going to go up, and when he goes oh, up, oh, no, 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 no. Molly, no, it's really gone wrong. It's yeah. really gone wrong in every conceivable Dear. way for Gen G, and it continues to go awry in this round. The bomb is now dropped outside of the B site. Automatic has very much opened this round up for the Cloud9 side. OC what? as well, even trying to. Oh, oh, no. oh that's oh. lovely. OC, I love to see it. Cloud9, first round on the board. How is that their first round? I on don't the board? really know. I don't what? get it. I don't understand how this Cloud Nine works. No, but I kind of like it. It's, the same it's time, fun, isn't it? It's weird. Oh. Like they just seem to win from nowhere. Like what is this? Where's this come from? OC hasn't done anything in this <laughs> of time. Even if I look on the back side of that, we got to think about what other games could be out there. Maybe Source Two, Harry. I know that you've got the scoop. What is it? On Source Two, I've got the scoop. Yeah, man, it's coming, and it's gonna blow your mind. I've seen it. Don't look I've at me. I've seen Tell it firsthand. Them. And it's incredible. That's all I have to say on this. I've signed too many NDAs to, to share any more. <laughs> Broken enough of them. Fair enough. All right. So what we're going to do now is kick it over into... He needs to find multiple kills. He's done that. The only player that's stepped up so far. No frags found. Farlake will get his... Burning. Oh, he's, he's accepting his fate. <laughs> so, well, I suppose you got me. And uh, just refresh remaining. Another convincing round for FaZe. Not really much to get hyped about there. They get one kill. That's about it. Round 14 coming up. Money more stable. We haven't seen a double orb set up yet, but they still can't really justify it. Money's just not there. Much better. Base plan, bouncing back from Inferno, showing up. But we'll see where that bomb ends up. Yeah, look at Elige. He's got a good spot right here. Nath is going to be there on the catwalk should they get past him. And if this smoke fades, if the timing's right, he'll be able to get those shots off. Nath, unsurprising. Oh, dear. Lining him up here on catwalk, and this has been a huge blunder for the side of the 100 Thieves. Just Liaz. He's going to mask the noise of dropping out of apartments, but it does not matter. Liquid, secure the first map of this series. We see this one go to Vertigo, but not before we go to a break, everybody. We will BRB with more of the RTR.